Hi sexies! So the sun is shining so I'm taking the opportunity to film some videos outside. I've just filmed my summer edition this or that tag which I will leave in the um, description box below and as you can see by the title I am doing the Pinterest tag. So the original Pinterest tag came from Christina Subfertile Frugalista and um, I will leave the link to her channel below and I think the tag is great because I am a pin addict as you will probably know if you've watched some of my videos or if you've read my blog actually. Um, and there are 1, to 15 questions relating to Pinterest um, and I will leave all my lovely little links below so you can go and have a look at what I'm talking about but I'm going to crack on and answer these questions. So number one, how many pins do you currently have? I'm ashamed to say that I have 2,801 pins. This clearly means that I spend too much time on Pinterest and not enough time cleaning my house. Number two, how many Pinterest boards do you have? I have 92 boards and a few secret boards. I don't know if the secret boards are included in that. Either way, too many. Number three, how many Pinterest followers do you have? I have 4,289 followers which is fabulous and I love every single one of you. Um, I really got quite a huge following um, after I worked with the Pinterest UK team last year. We did an article on our blogs to promote Pinterest in, the, in England and um, I just saw like a huge surge in followers from that article. So um, thank you to everybody who followed me and who is still following me every day because I love you. Number four, what is the general theme for how you used Pinterest? Recipes, crafts, motivation, decor ideas, etc. Um, gonna need a cup of tea to think about this one. Oh, I forgot to put sugar in my tea, it's gross. Oh. The general theme, I think, if you go over and have a look at my boards, it's just a bit of everything. I put everything on there. I put, um, fashion ideas that I like, I put stuff for the kids to do, I put blog post ideas, um, recipes, craft things I want to try, um, makeup products, hairstyles, I do every, everything that I want to remember or because I do because I work in social media I am on the internet a lot and I come across so much cool stuff and I just pin it and pin it and pin it and pin it and then I I do actually go back now. I wasn't very good at this at first, but I do go back and just check what I've pinned and to see if I can use it. And I use it for meal planning a lot. Um, I just use it for everything. I love it. Number five, do you use, do you utilize Pinterest to help boost traffic to your blog slash blog? Uh, Pinterest is actually one of my main traffic sources to my blog. Um, I don't know about YouTube because I haven't, to be honest, checked that. Um, and I do try and go back and pin all of my blog posts that I think people would be interested in or if it's a tutorial or something cool that I found um, I do try and pin those as I go um, so I think it definitely does boost traffic that's the very long answer to a very short question number six do you pin to any community boards I do belong to community boards um, but I don't pin to them I I don't really understand the whole thing. I know there's a webinar that um, Christina actually linked in her original video, which I will link below. Um, and I think they touched on community boards during that webinar. So I will, I need to read up on that. Number seven, do you have any Pinterest pet peeves? Um, no, not really. No, I just, I just love it. I love it. Number eight, what is your favorite board to pin to? I would say that is my Pin Addict board. I used to run a site called Pin Addicts and it was a team of seven women and we used to post every day um, and inspire people to actually use stuff that they'd found on Pinterest. So to create a recipe or a craft or an organization tool or something. Um, and I still tend to just pin to that board all the time because it has such a, a variety of different things and I just I love to pin to that board you should check it out 
Number nine, what is your favourite thing that you have completed? I love it. Um, I think I've actually lost a couple of crowns on the end which I need to replace. But I made this, I pinned it from Meg Dirksen's, Meg Dirksen's blog, I will link it below. She is my favourite blogger of all time and I love it. You just stick the crayons on and then you just hair dry the hell out of them and it makes this beautiful beautifulness. That's my favourite thing. Number 10, do you Pinterest stalk anyone? No I don't. Uh, number 11, do you use, utilise secret boards and if so for what? I do, I use it for projects that I want to blog about so I get ideas and then I try and recreate it and then I'm going to blog about them or I use them a lot for work for content creation so I find things that are relevant to my clients and I don't particularly want to post it on that day so I just sort of link it to a secret board and then I'm ready to share it when I'm working on that particular theme for them um, so I do use secret boards. Number 12, have you ever attended a real life Pinterest party? No, I haven't. I'm not quite sure what that is. Number 13, what is one, why am I so far into the camera? What is one thing that you would change about Pinterest if you could? Um, I think it could be more of a social site. I find I don't really socialize with people on there. I mean, I will repin, I obviously repin people's things. And um, I do go and visit their blogs and YouTube channels and things from pins that I found on there. But I don't find it very social. But I do use, obviously, Facebook and Twitter and Instagram to be social. So it probably doesn't need to be social, if you know what I mean. Um, so I'm not sure if I would change that. But it's just an observation. Number 14. What is one Pinterest tip you have? Um, I would say what I've actually just created this week is a linky board. So I have a board which is just pinned all the different linkies that I can post my blog post to because I find that I miss out on the linkies so often because I'm too late or I can't remember where I found that one and then people are quite good on Twitter reminding me, you know, be great to have you join this week and I'm like, oh, I can't remember where I'm supposed to be and the most appropriate ones to post things to. And so I've just created a board just for linkies and I find that that is actually helping me a lot. It's from, I just click onto that board, then I can see, right, Monday's this, Tuesday's that, Wednesday's here, and then off I go and I link away. And number 15 says tag three fellow pinners. So I am going to tag the Wit family. Um, she has an amazing channel um, also an English YouTuber and I've recently discovered her channel and I just love it. I will link that below. I'll link all three of these below. The second one is Helpful Mum and the third person I'm going to tag is But Why Mummy Why. Yes, you Morgana. I am tagging you. Okay, well that's it. If you like this please like and comment or subscribe or all those wonderful things. All of my links are below and thank you very much for watching. I will see you soon. Bye. Bloopers. Ooh.